Welcome back to Design Loves Detail. I'm Molly and I'm going to show you a new space today. We're doing our room reveals from the new house. Last week was the entryway, which was one of my favorites, but I also really love what I'm showing today, which is the guest suite. So we've got the bedroom and the bathroom for you. Let's go check it out. By the way, if you have not subscribed, be sure you do so that you don't miss future room reveals. If you like new house stuff and house stuff in general, our channel's for you and I'm gonna show you why. Subscribe. Okay, let's check it out. So this space, I, I really do love. I actually, I'm gonna probably show you this space style two ways because I got this bed and I really like it and this one's under 500. So it's a really reasonable one too. And the one that I originally ordered is just taking forever. So I got this one kind of like on the fly, you know, because we needed a bed for our room reveal. And I actually really love it. So now I'm like, shoot, can I cancel the other one? But then I think it might be good. So we maybe want to see both. Anyway, let's get to it. So the bed, I covered that. This is the bench. This, this is like the funkiest bench, right? It kind of looks like a caterpillar, like the hungry, hungry, is that it? Hungry, 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 hungry hippo? No, that's not what I was thinking then. One hungry for hungry caterpillar. Oh, it's just the single, singular hungry caterpillar bench. But I love it because um, I really like the wood detail and how it's kind of like smooth, like it's curved. I don't know. It's very like organic, you know, I love organic. So big fan of this bench. I wasn't sure I'd be able to fit a bench here because of this walkway to the bathroom, but it seems to be. Okay, we'll give it a whirl and see if anybody stubs toes or anything, but. And this rug was actually one I ordered forever ago. It's from McGee & Co, to be honest. I love their stuff, but I don't usually splurge. But this was on like their spring sale or something like a year ago. And it was pretty reasonable. And I really do love it. They have good stuff. Bedding, I love this. This was a TJ Maxx find. Some of you bought it because I shared it in my Instagram stories. That's where all the deals are. And it's, I think the texture in it and the feel of it is so great. The back side of it, but I love it because it's kind of like a natural, you could have it even on this side, kind of like a, almost looks like linen, natural colored. But that texture, this whole house, you guys, is like about texture. You probably have noticed there's a lot of texture. This is like a vintage pillow. I've gotten a few of these. They're like from a rug. I feel kind of weird about that because like who knows where the rug has been, but it's not like you sleep on it. You just put it on your bed. These again, more texture. These were another TJ Maxx find. This bedding, you guys, this bedding is all so reasonable. This was like the, probably the splurgiest. Um, it was like 40 bucks or something, but these guys were like 19.99 and I love that, just that feel to them. The sheets are Walmart and they have this one that's um, temperature regulating. It's from Better Homes and Gardens. And this color, I think it's called vanilla. Links are in description so you can get these, but they're like the perfect off-white because you know how I always try to avoid things that look too, like the cream tones, I love them, but I'm always really careful about not getting stuff that looks too yellow. So anyways, the point is these are the perfect um, shade of like an off-white and the, again, the temperature regulating and all that. So really good if you need um, affordable sheets that are great too. This, I've had these forever. They're like a linen. I do love linen and bedding. I think they're discontinued, but I'll see if I can find similar. And then artwork, um, again, more texture. This one is um, a home goods find. Do you guys ever get these acrylic ones? I, whenever I see them, I like have to buy them. And this one was cool because it was like a little bit longer. Yeah, those are probably like my favorite, <laughs> some of my favorite art. I am doing some organic stuff like this, but also stuff that's a little more like landscapes, kind of like this. I love a little painting. I, I'm gonna get a little easel for that so that it has more of a place to be. Nightstands, these are these are the ones I got from Walmart. If you all saw that reel when I, I got, they're actually filing cabinets. So this bottom drawer is super deep. You can take these out if you want. I haven't done it yet, but this can come out and you can just have a really deep drawer. But I love, I've done this twice now where I've used filing cabinets as a nightstand and I actually love the more depth to it. So you can have way more storage and it feels good to me to have it like a little more substantial. They're like dressers, like miniature dressers kind of rather than a typical nightstand. So I love that. One of my favorite lamps, I got these on, I think it was Wayfair. Uh, again, I'll put all the stuff in in description for you, but I try to kind of give you an idea of where it came from and stuff as we go through. So yeah, these are, I really like these and they come 
assembled. So that's excellent. As far as like, one thing I sometimes get like focused on products because I do that a lot in, in, you know, on Instagram, like product sourcing, but I'm trying to also give you all like my random tips, like of stuff that I do. <laughs> and one thing that I do when I make the bed, which I don't even know if other people do this, but I've always done this when I make beds, I do the sheet, both sheets. And then when I do the, com the top like comforter, I fold it like all the way down and then like halfway back up, if that makes sense. I really like having it just be on like the lower half of the bed and then we get to see, you know, the sheets for the upper half. Um, I did a bed making video, how to make the bed like a luxury suite or something like that, hotel, like a luxury hotel. <laughs> um, that video covers more stuff of how, how I make the bed, but that's like probably my number one thing that I like always do. And sometimes I'll put a you know blanket on the end too, but this one had such great texture on its own. I didn't even feel like we needed it. I kind of liked the simplicity of just the comforter here. And another thing is this is a king size. So this is a queen bed, but I did do a king size coverlet or whatever it is because I like it coming down a little bit further on the sides. So just kind of like your what your taste is, but I thought I'd mention that. On that nightstand, and I usually, when I style nightstands, I like to do them like, you know, something that's the same, but then maybe the smaller accessory is different. So like the nightstands and the lamps are the same, but then they're both styled in different ways. Books, I love using books because I like having like books to look at, maybe whatever your reading material is. And then just a little something, like a cute little something to go on top, you know, the basics. A lot of times I'll put like a little, tray for like jewelry, whatever, when you are going to bed and you realize you still have it on. And then again, white plaster light, which I love. That was one of the things that I shared in shorts and on the a recent reel anyways, about how people were kind of not sure about the plaster lighting, like in that, that initial home reveal video. It was like the thing that got the most comments. Like they're like, I love it, but those lights, why are they white? So this one again is white, but I kind of like that how they, they blend in a little more so that like other details can stand out, especially like in the main areas where we have like architectural details and stuff like that. It kind of lets those take center stage. And then it's like more about the shape of the light than the color, which I think is cool. So yeah, let's check out the bathroom. I think that kind of covers the bedroom. Oh, I guess there's one other spot. I am still needing to order a desk. We'll hop over here. This is, oh, should we stop at this? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This is the closet of actually a bunch of cute stuff, but also that's the situation right now. We've made that closet specifically for home stuff to go in those shelves and then the guests can use that rod. We'll keep them one rod open. I think that's generous. But this is the section where I'm gonna put a desk. I just haven't found the perfect one. So right now we have tree stumps, also cute. And again, like I said, my favorite kind of arts from home goods, the art, I know it's not plural, um, acrylic, these acrylic frame, so. Very cool, and then a picture light. Man, a picture light just makes everything cuter. All right, so we'll go in the bathroom now, and I'm gonna leave the light off just because I think the colors show better without the light on. So this is a fun vanity, this is a Taj Mahal. And I actually was able to get remnant pieces, I think I mentioned that, so that I could afford this in the bathroom. Otherwise it wouldn't have been so fancy, but lucked out. And this, um, I just did a apron front. So of course this looks like it's a huge piece of stone, but really it's only like that thick and just goes on the face and the sides. And then this is an integrated sink that my um, countertop company did. Uh, most of the time they can do them. So you can just ask them um, to fabricate that in when you like get your countertops made. So integrated sink, love that. It has the drain at the back. And then I love a wall mount faucet. And this bathroom actually has such, tell me if this is true. I think it has such a Mediterranean vibe, like very raw and organic. Yeah, when I style bathrooms, I kind of like a little bit of greenery usually cause it kind of feels fresh in there. Even if it's faux, like this is just a faux one. Cute soaps, I have, I linked these, they were like on TJ Maxx and I love when they're in a glass bottle cause then you can reuse it. I linked them on Instagram. I will also add in description, I think if they still have that one, sometimes there's soaps sell out fast, but I'll link some cute ones cause I really love the Marshalls and TJ Maxx soaps. Um, 
And then this mirror was a home goods find and isn't it cool? Cause I love the height with it. And then it was the perfect width too. Cause I didn't want it to be too narrow. Little dome light. So this is kind of a mix of very modern and then very raw materials. We have the gorgeous Riyadh tile that I'm always <laughs> pitching about. It's called glazed clay, by the way, this one. And it's got like, just like these muted tones that are really earthy. Little bit of greens and grays and taupes and tan. Like just, I love that subtle variation. It's so pretty. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite bathrooms in the whole house. And then I just did this big oversized basket for Turkish towels down here. I didn't want to put a towel ring into the tile. I know that you can, but I'll probably get maybe a little countertop one or something. I don't know. Are towel rings overrated? <laughs> My kids never put it back on the ring. So it's like, uh, but probably for guests, it would be nice. Maybe I'll fold little washcloths in that bowl. That'd be cute, right? I love that. I love stuff like that. And then I put a couple pots mainly cause they were cute. And this is like just open, you know, I do need to figure out probably some type of toilet paper storage, but every once in a while, you guys, I do make a little bit of a, maybe I should get a lidded basket for toilet paper. That'd be cute. Like I get so tired of the same old thing. We're going to go up, um, that I'll do something like this that maybe isn't as practical as like closed cabinet where you can just hide all your crap because it's so beautiful. And like, I just, <laughs> I'm passionate about like that too, because I think, I think there's something in living in a space that you get to feel is beautiful, uh, in addition to practical. So just saying, I will, I am sure there's some thoughts on, you know, having this open and stuff, but I, I love the look of it. It's so pretty. This floor, this one is actually another floor and decor find. So I'll, I'll link to that really really pretty i love the natural stone and well you know what it might be discontinued but I'll, I'll link to it or they have a really similar one but i love that and it's just really clean again really mediterranean modern type vibes let's jump in the shower <laughs> we're in the shower i kept this very modern here's the door i wanted the extra long handle just for kind of the modern feel and then again like super i kept the floor and the shower floor and the walls very much kind of tone on tone. We've got a play on texture because the shower floor is actually a mosaic tile that I'll link for you to. I think it was a Wayfair find. And then I did the modern linear drain. So this is just a really clean organic bathroom that the, the airiness of it, the freshness of it is one of my favorite things. And of course we talked about this tile in the home walkthrough, but it is like a fluted tile that that i know will take a little probably a little work to clean but i don't know maybe it won't be that bad because it's like i don't know it's not going to get that much stuff on it who knows we'll, we'll i'll keep you updated how that goes but the fixtures i did bronze which is kind of a coppery bronze it's actually the um oil they call it oil rub bronze but this one honestly is lighter than most because most of the time oil rub bronze looks black but this one um has a little more copper feel to it. And I, I love that because I think that it feels a little more raw as well. So it kind of keeps with the overall vibe. And then I carried, this was kind of fun. I carried this wall tile into the shower as well. So we really have a whole wall of this and it's the statement maker of the whole room. Like I was saying how the other tile is just very tone on tone. This one, gives us that kind of like just a little pop of color, but it's still just so earthy and subtle that it makes me happy. <laughs> so I think we covered it all. We're going to come out of the bathroom now. Alrighty. So that concludes the guest suite tour. Let me know what you guys think in comments, and then we'd love to have you like, and subscribe. I will be back next week with another new space that we haven't shared yet. So that will be fun. It remains to be seen which space it is. Cause I'm just kind of doing one at a time. And then we, reveal it when it's done. So we'll see you soon.